lights reflect on the waters near San Diego, but this is no simple night cruise. We're on board a boat operated by the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. The agents sailing these waters are patrolling a growing front in the battle against illegal immigration. Since October, agents have arrested nearly 750 illegal immigrants on the shores of Southern California. That's nearly double the number arrested in the previous year. It's a needle in the haystack. No question the sea is a vast terrain. John Morton is the director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. He says increased enforcement of the border between Mexico and the U.S. has pushed people to the riskier sea route. Then you see uh, here in San Diego, um, you know, a great increase in efforts at maritime smuggling to skirt the land border. The journeys often start here. The poor Mexican fishing village of Popotla sits just 15 miles south of the border. Locals downplay the village's role as a launching point for illegal immigration. But this president of a local fishing cooperative says it's possible that smugglers come at night. Back in the U.S., some arrests may be due to increased enforcement. The Border Patrol has assigned more agents to the region, and the local sheriff's department has added boat patrols. Marines at nearby Camp Pendleton say they've beefed up security. Even lifeguards have joined the effort. A month ago, or, or maybe a month and a half ago, there was a ponga that was uh, ditched early in the morning with uh, women, children, men on board wearing life jackets. And uh, early in the morning, it was reported that it washed ashore. While agents have night vision and radar, one ICE official says the smugglers may be winning because of their low-tech approach. They often travel in boats loaded with people, only a foot above water, and difficult to detect. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.